Welcome to the Media Minute Roundtable. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And I'm Rachel Edge. And we're going to be talking to you about some entertainment news, among other things. Uh, as you notice, we're missing Jesse. Jesse has moved on to uh, Greener Pastures, but now I have Chris and Rachel yeah. to talk to. So. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a lineup change. Bit of, yep. a, bit of a lineup change, you know. Uh, I, I don't know if uh, we have the budget for this or not, but uh, we're going to try it anyway. We're going to talk about some of the things that we've been watching and some of the things going on kind of in entertainment. And, uh, of course, we just got back from... Christmas uh, a couple yeah. of weeks ago, and there were a couple big things that dropped over Christmas. Uh, first was on Christmas Day, uh, Disney's Soul dropped, which is like the new uh, Pixar movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. watch that. Yeah, what'd you guys think of that? I fell asleep. Yeah, that <laughs> is that is not a reflection <laughs> of the movie in any sense. I was just really you were tired. Just really tired. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that that's uh, that can happen. That that happened to me with Master Commander. Rachel, uh, what do you think? Um, I definitely thought it was a good Pixar movie. Like, if you could see the animation and like the detailing and stuff they put in it it's like instead of the regular like smooth kind of animation they had like this really cool like you they, they put details into the faces like wrinkles and like all that kind of stuff and i really enjoyed that for sure and then i was really impressed by some of the up close shots yeah. that they did i remember watching toy story when i was a kid and thinking there was an exterior like a shot of the house i was like wow that looks so real but like compared to what we have now, like, I think it was in the barbershop where, like, the guy's, like, picking up the tools for the haircut. It's like, man, that, it, it looked real to me. Yeah, yeah, like, the animation, like, from, like, obviously, like, Toy Story is, like, one of the biggest Pixar movies. And then to now, like, seeing it and seeing the difference, it's, it's incredible. It's, like, the detailing and stuff in it is just kind of, like, whoa. Like, you just kind of want to pick it up and, like, do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, Pixar has but, always crushed it. Yeah, they, they've crazy. always had. Uh, now, the only thing, the ending didn't land for me. I totally like it, agree. It yeah. felt it felt like rushed. It's like I got the point that they were trying to make, but like we were going through, going through, and the movie ended. Yeah, I totally yeah, agree with you. It seems to be like a, a lot of people saying that. It's like, yeah. that was great until the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I like the character designs that they had as well for like the uh, the Jerry's. Yeah, Kind I of love those like those. 2D uh, type things. So that, yeah. that was pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, for the most part, the story was solid, but... The ending just didn't quite get yeah. there. I, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it's almost like it like kept raising the expectations, and you're like, oh, this is going to be great, this is going to be great, and then it kind of plateaued at the end, and it was like, oh, like that wasn't the big shebang that we were looking for, you know? For yeah, sure. there, yeah, there was no real payoff. It was kind of just like, oh, that's it? Yeah, that's yeah. that's the end. Oh, like, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> there there okay. we are. And uh, the other thing that uh, dropped on Christmas Day, which I don't think anyone here has actually saw, is the new Wonder Woman. Anyone? No. Nope. No. It's I've the, heard I've, pretty I've, bad things. <laughs> see, but at the same time, like, I've heard the bad things, but, it, like, a lot of people are like, oh, it's failing at box office. It's like, we're in the middle of a pandemic right yeah, now. It, like, who, it, who? Is there a box office? Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, it had Pedro Pascal, uh, yeah. which is yeah. the, known right now as the Mandalorian. I Absolutely. think that's going to be his, like, thing that he's known for from this point on. Oh, yeah. It's his, like, crowning glor- glory will yeah. be the Mandalorian. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, no, uh, I think a lot of people uh, came away from it. I'm not sure if it's fresh on Rotten Tomatoes right now. I think it actually might have fallen off that. Yeah, I could sure. be wrong about that, though. But, uh, yeah, it didn't land for a lot of people. Yeah, I heard there's some pretty just, it was just wildly confusing. Like, she would just, like, change outfits for no reason, and she's, like, lassoing, like, lightning. Yeah. All of a sudden, there's a cat lady. Yeah. Like, it's just, <laughs> so. It's like, I want to be as powerful as Wonder Woman. Okay, you're a cat. Yeah. Like, what? How, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Like, if it comes to, I mean, I thought about it. I thought about renting it, but for the price of renting it, you how, know, much, how much is it? I think yeah. it was 29 Canadian. Oh. Yeah, I was like, yeah, no, no, that's that's not happening for a rental. Yeah. I'm like, not, not even sure I would buy it at that price. Yeah, right? and like, plus you yeah, need a subscription, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's no. absurd. Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, definitely didn't land for a lot of people. Um Another big thing that came out over Christmas, uh, any of you seen the Karate Kid movies? A long time oh, yeah, ago. Of course. It's been a yes. minute. <laughs> of course, the, they brought... The, the Crane Kick? The Crane right. Kick, yeah. yeah. Everyone loves that. Everyone loves the Crane Kick. Well, Cobra Kai's been going on for a couple seasons. Now it started on YouTube, what was known as YouTube Red. I think they changed it to YouTube Premium. It did its first two seasons on that. Now it's moved to Netflix. Yeah, yeah. And of Crazy. course, they brought back... The original actors, the the uh, Johnny, the uh, the bully from the first movie. It's debatable if he's the bully or not. There's a lot of ongoing yeah, discussion. Yeah, there's about a little, that. room for discussion um, on that one. He, he's back, uh, and they got Ralph Macchio, who's who plays Daniel. And uh, in this latest season, um, 
they went back to Okinawa, which is where the second movie takes place. It, Daniel gets in into a death battle in Okinawa in, in the second <laughs> movie. But they brought back like the old characters that he encountered in Okinawa as well. And they did a, oh, nice. a nice tribute to um, uh, the actor that played uh, Mr. Miyagi. Uh, oh, what was his name? Uh, Pat Marina? Yeah. Is Pat name. something? I th- yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. But uh, it's yeah, not, it's not Bruce Willis. I mean, it's not Bruce Willis. <laughs> I, I, I mean, or Bruce Campbell. Okay, but could you imagine Bruce Campbell in that role? <laughs> that would be something. That would be something. <laughs> I, I, of course, I we ha- we've had Jackie anything. Chan in that role as well because they yeah. did that that Kung Fu Kid movie, which like oh. they call it the Karate Kid, but it had absolutely yeah. nothing to do with karate. Yeah, well, it's like <laughs> it was like Jaden Smith, I think, was when he, when he was like first oh, getting into yeah. like yeah. acting yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. It's when Will Smith was trying to push his son. Into yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. To acting. There was oh. like there was like a whole Oof. like couple years of like. Yeah. Jane Smith movies and like none of them were good. They did that the After, After Earth. Earth. Yeah. Oh god, that, that was is that terrible. Vanity Project. It was <laughs> bad. It was so bad. And didn't he do like an anime or something as well? Like, oh, uh, I think so. I think so. I think it was on Netflix, and I just couldn't bring myself to watch it. Yeah. Well, like at the same time though, it's like, hey, like I'm Jaden Smith. I'm Will Smith's son, and it's like I feel like he kind of got clout more so for like being the son of Will Smith oh, versus for sure. like. Plus, he had weird tweets for a while. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. So His embarrassing. Was, <laughs> he was trying to like wax philosophical. Like, I think so. If something about mirrors and eyeballs, yes, and I don't know. How do we know mirrors are real if our eyeballs aren't, or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it, it was really. He was trying to be just like this well, I philosophical, mean, this deep thinker. I feel like I feel like he's like really so bad. in his like his dad's shadow. It's like he kind of had to put some like ridiculous things. Like this just proves that like growing up famous is yeah. probably not a good thing. It, it, it really hasn't worked out for like a lot of people. Yeah, yeah right. like, yeah. child actors and stuff. Uh, there's like very few of them that have like actually of, I mean, actually Hillary Duff there, there's a child actor that actually like turned out normal where's she at where's um, she, she I, is, I haven't heard, I of, heard that this. name in a long uh, time well they're supposed to do Disney Plus was actually I think it was Disney Plus I could be dead wrong on that I will source that afterwards but um, they were actually going to do a Lizzie McGuire reboot of like oh her being I older reboot oh yeah boy. But then it got canceled because I guess like some of the people were like, "Oh, I'm not getting paid enough money," and like Hillary Duff was like, "Well, we want to do this for the fans," but they were like, "No." So yeah, yeah. And, of course, a lot of productions and stuff are kind of held up with like the whole yeah. pandemic thing. Yeah, it's brutal. Yeah. Well, it's uh, I, I mentioned this to you guys the other day. Like, I'm waiting for the same three movies <laughs> yeah. that I was this time last year. Like, yeah, this time yeah. last year I was waiting for Top Gun two. I was waiting for the new Ghostbusters movie, yeah. and I was waiting for Dune. So, and uh-huh. they've all been pushed back to like fall twenty twenty one. So, yeah, it's kind of brutal because it's like when you look at like movies and stuff, they're always so worried about like the box office and stuff. It's like almost you're kind of like forgetting about the fans and being like, oh, well, we promised you this, but because of this and because we want that box office yeah. rate, you got to wait. It's like, oh, it's the cool. studio system. I mean, it's been yeah. in place since like the twenties, I guess. So. Yeah. They need to look at some new avenues. And like, I mean, one of those avenues is Netflix. They're dropping 70 movies um, what? over the what? course of this year. I thought you were going to say this month. No, <laughs> not this month. <laughs> like, what? Not this month. But uh, yeah, over the course of the year, they released a list. And uh, on that list, uh, one thing that caught my eye uh, was uh, Fear Street. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh R.L. Stein, the guy who wrote the uh, Goosebumps books. Um, which I it wasn't really my thing. Yeah, same. When, when I was a kid, like a lot, I used to see like a lot of the other kids reading it. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I remember we had a teacher that would read to us like the Fear Street series because I think they wanted a, us to have a nap or something like that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not quite sure the the uh, legality or or the reasoning why this teacher was reading us these Fear Street books like in the middle of elementary school. <laughs> but I remember it happening. And so uh, I remember kind of enjoying that series because it was kind of the more mature, like Goosebumps was, you know, for your elementary school students. Uh, Fear Street's seemed to me it was probably more like junior high, high school yeah. uh, thing. So, yeah, they actually filmed the trilogy back in uh, 2019, and then Fox got acquired by Disney, which kind of mm-hmm. put things on the back burner for them. So it, apparently Netflix has it now, and they're going to release like one movie a month in these in this uh, Fear Street series. So kind of curious how that's going to work out because – there has been a Goosebumps movie with Jack Black. Yeah, yeah oh, right? I remember that. Yeah. It's like the book, like, or whatever. It's like he opened one of the books or something, and then, like, all of the creatures escaped, and then they had to, like, yeah. Yeah. And Jack grab Black him again. Yeah, and Jack Black played, like, R.L. Stein. Yeah, that's what that it was. was yeah. That was bizarre. 
I I don't know. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. <laughs> yeah, no, didn't watch it. No, it. Can't say I can't say I showed well, up for that you, one. If you're looking for a goofy movie, like definitely. Yeah, uh, yeah, that one's a definitely good one. <laughs> um, yeah, that one's pretty interesting. And uh, speaking of Disney, um, so we had Endgame like a couple years ago, uh, which was kind of the end of the big Marvel era. They kind of wrapped it things up like yeah. Iron Man and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So like the first thing that they're releasing now uh, for like the next phase is uh, it's coming out on Disney Plus uh, tomorrow the fifteenth. It's uh, WandaVision. I am actually so excited for that. I love what's, it. What? Um, WandaVision. Yeah, WandaVision. It's, it's, it's got the 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 witch the Scarlet Witch. Scarlet okay. Witch, yeah. which is Wanda, and they have. Oh. Vision. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like it's almost like a sitcom. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, like, it's like a I like Love Lucy type. Yeah, trailer, kind of. From so. like from what I've seen from like the footage and stuff, it just looks really fun. And like yeah, no, I, I read the uh, I read the comic. It's really good. Yeah. If you're yeah. into graphic novels, definitely check out the Vision series that that that's based on. Okay. It's yeah. It's, it's wait, really hold good. up. It's based on like a like it had its own. Yeah, like where Vision kind of plays like a suburban dad. Doing like Leave It to Beaver stuff. It's, 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 a, it's a really good book. Okay, it's good. not very long, but uh, no, it's, it's, yeah. Check out Vision if you're into uh, into that at all. Really, thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we'll get an adaption uh, tomorrow, which is going to be. I'm not sure if it's coming out like per episode or if they're going to do like a dump. Yeah, like are they going to do like what they kind of do with the Mandalorian, where it's like every Friday it comes out, or is it like? Have to look that There's up. There's one season. <laughs> well, what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer like the full season dump or? Oh, absolutely. Bi-weekly. Yeah. I'm I'm the kind of person when it's like when I sit down and watch a TV series, I prefer to like have it like episode by episode because then that way it's like or not episode by episode. Sorry, I totally just lied about that. Um, more I'm so a like lie on podcast. I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's my there's, first a lie time. On the, there's, there's a lying in baseball. People, I'm nervous. People don't lie on the internet. <laughs> oh, f- internet lying. <laughs> They don't go hand in hand. But no, like, I prefer, like, having the whole season because it's, like, then you can kind of sit down on a Saturday, get all your snacks, and be, like, just lazy for the whole day and just, like, binge the whole thing. Yeah. That's how I like it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I, I prefer that, too, I think. Yeah. Especially with, like, there's just so much content out I, there. Like, I'm, who's got the time? I think wait? I prefer oh, the yeah. binge as well because, like, it's fresh in your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, you don't, you know, you're not a couple episodes later, a few weeks later, and you're like, who's that guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's he doing here? Where, where is he from again? Yeah. <laughs> But uh, one show that I've been enjoying that's uh, episodic is on Amazon Prime. It's uh, The Expanse. Uh, I've I, heard I've, to- I've told you guys about this, but uh, you definitely got to watch it. It's uh, hard sci-fi. Like, everything takes place within the solar system. So okay. So there's no, like, uh, jump gates or anything like that. <laughs> there's three factions. There's Earth, there's Mars, and there's the people who live in the asteroid belts, and they're all kind of butting heads and stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, starts off great, and they're into season five right now, and... It's it's based on a book series. Oh, cool! So uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely loving that uh, so far. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about it. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have Amazon Prime, so. See, I do, and I've just been dropping the ball. <laughs> so, oh, so I gotta like, fix that. Yeah, <laughs> looks like you're messing up more than I am. A little, little bit, a little bit for sure. Uh, has anyone asked for a live action Tom and Jerry movie? God, because no. that's a thing. What? I oh, I don't know. Like, <sighs> is it gonna be like? Like, it's got to be work? CG then, right? Like, no, they they have like the two D characters, like the cart. You know, space. It's Space Jam. How they did Space Jam, uh, okay. but like Tom and Jerry. But Tom and Jerry. Oh, okay. Well, if it's like that, because I was worried it was gonna be really bad. Like or like 3D. Roger Rabbit kind of deal. Yeah. 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 Where they. See, like that. They, yeah. They have the live action actors yeah. and they have like the drawn huh. okay. cartoon okay. characters. Okay, I could get behind that. See, when I thought, like, I haven't seen any of the trailers, I've only heard stuff. So, like, when I thought of it, I thought, like, it was going to be really, really bad, like, 3D CG Tom and Jerry. And I'm like, That's you what can't. I expected. Yeah. You can't do that to Tom and Jerry. They're classic. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, that's uh, that's a thing that's going to be uh, happening. So uh, we'll, we'll watch it with interest. Totally off topic, but this has popped into my head. We need a babe reboot. Yes. Whoa. like but That's what I'm thinking. Like the pig babe? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyhow. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's a... Uh, okay, but where did that come from? I don't know. Tom and Jerry made me think of, like... <laughs> Talking <laughs> animals? Yeah, CG animals got me thinking. I was like, you know what was good? Babe. Babe was sweet. We need we need a hardcore Charlotte's Web. Yeah. There we go. I was just thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sur- someone's got to be working on a new 1984 or even an Animal Farm. 
Oh, Animal Farm. Well, I mean, go. they released the Animal Farm video game. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. That, uh, that we talked about in an earlier media minute. I, Especially the way the last year and a bit has been going. I feel like I, Animal even, Farm yeah. would be appropriate. Or, like, you could just do 1984, but, like, 2020 version. Yeah. Like, let's be real. <laughs> oh, we're kind of living it, really. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, in- it's interesting. Actually, speaking of kind of, like, those old, like, dystopian things, I've actually been listening to the audiobook for uh, Neuromancer. Yeah, it's okay. one of the original kind of cyberpunk novels. Oh, cool. Like this okay. guy came up with like a lot of the terms that you hear in cyberpunk media, and it's got uh, one of the uh, the best opening lines like in any novel. It's like the sky was a color of the uh, of a television turned to a dull gray or something like that. It's like it's fantastic. Nice. But That's if you're interested in cyberpunk, this is one of the uh, kind of the starting points for it. Uh, William Gibson uh, wrote it. Cool. But, uh, yeah, the yes. audiobook's good as well. Okay, I'll have to check that out for sure. Yeah. Speaking of cyberpunk. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah, I was, yeah. I was <laughs> gonna, <laughs> gonna hop on that, was, but uh, you beat me to it. Yeah. Uh, the developers now have actually issued a formal apology. Yeah, yeah, I saw wow. that. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's interesting. They've released a roadmap as well, basically telling how they're going to fix the game over oh. the next uh, year or so. But, yeah, uh, I, was, I was looking at, like, because they, they had a bunch of stuff leaked. Yeah. And, like, they're not even gonna get on multiplayer till 2022. Yeah, that seems like a miss, like uh, a, a misstep. Yeah, like they've they've lost so much goodwill because right? the uh, like The Witcher Three came out and everybody was so impressed by that. Yeah, and then yeah, they did Cyberpunk and it's it's just been a bad scene all around. Yeah, because like, by the time they get this multiplayer thing happening, the game will have been out for like what three, almost four years. Are they really gonna? pull like all those players back uh, yeah. by then like the, see there, there's maybe? one other game I, that I actually has had that flop of a launch and has pulled people back and that's uh i don't know if you guys know this no man's sky it came out a couple of years oh, back oh. i thought you were gonna say fallout 70 <laughs> i don't know <laughs> uh, i can talk about that too <laughs> um but uh came out a couple of years back it was kind of the space exploration and the developer was promising like all sorts yeah. of like major features and stuff and the game came out, and it was just like, like, eh. really, like really, yeah, pretty <laughs> mediocre. But uh, hmm. the developers have kept working on it. They released all sorts of major patches, and uh, it's a different game now. Apparently, Interesting. so apparently you can you can you know if it's if you have one of these games on life support, you can bring it back. But I don't know if you can bring back the fans. Yeah, yeah. right. Like the, yeah. Especially with the the uh, industry just being so saturated with games, like getting someone to play your game for that's like three years old. Yeah. I don't know. That's a big ass. Well, that's the thing for Cyberpunk is that uh, about two weeks after it released, like the number of concurrent players on Steam yeah. just kind of fell off a cliff. Yeah, no but it, it's a single player game at the same time. So once you've gone through the story, yeah, like what's left yeah, to, yeah, do? Yeah, to do? What are you going to do? You, Although, granted, what? I played the the Last of Us multiplayer for oh man years. Oh yeah. After it, it came out, some so. people get really yeah. into like the multiplayer aspects of, of stuff. I mean, the Grand Theft Auto Five came out like yeah. what, seven years now. Oh yeah, I, I've, and there's still people playing the online yeah, version. That's of that. true. Well, you could say the same for zombies, like in like Call of Duty and stuff. It's like people play that all the time because yeah. they enjoy it, right? Oh, for sure, for sure. And uh, right. here's one thing I've been wondering. Um, so. You know, we have the whole pandemic thing on the go. Yep. <coughs> Pardon me. Have what you've been watching, has that changed since the pandemic? Like, in terms of what kind of things you watch? Uh, not really. Like, if anything, mm. I probably avoid, like, st- uh, more movies and media, like, involving, like, pandemics and stuff. Because it's just, like, it's happening in real life. Like, I use media to escape, right? Like, why would I want to put myself back into that Yeah. kind of thing? But, like, for the most part, I'm still watching the same stuff that I usually do. Yeah, I've always liked the kind of post-apocalyptic kind of end of the end of the world survival oh, kind of movies. Yeah, like yeah. like zombies and stuff. Heck yeah, still watching that. But yeah, I mean, like or more or like even just diseases too. Like there's like pandemic. Know. Yeah, I like think I'm, um, I'm trying to think of one. What was V for Vendetta is yeah. one that I constantly watch. I, I watched Thirteen Monkeys last weekend actually. Yeah, we watched that. Not yeah. that long. Twelve yeah. Monkeys, by the way. The Twelve Monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> or, well, unless there's a, a sequel. Yeah, I, oh, the Thirteen cool. Monkeys. Yeah, but there's one more. We need uh, more insane. Uh, was Brad Pitt? Who was the uh, crazy guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. Was, yeah. yeah, like he was the yeah. millionaire son, yeah, uh, responsible for the outbreak. Yeah, that was such a good movie. It was. It was. Yeah. It was ahead of its time. I really. Bruce Campbell was in that, by the way. <laughs> 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 yes, sure, Bruce Campbell. 
<laughs> I'll never live that down. I'll never live. Um, well, in terms of me, like, I've actually found myself, I'm watching more travel stuff right now. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Like what? What you got? Uh, watching, like, a lot of uh, people who, uh, there's a couple of major uh, trails in the States. There's the uh, Pacific Crest Trail and the Appalachian Trail. And people okay. hike those over, like, the course of a summer. So I've been watching people, like, who've recorded that experience. And, uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty interesting thing to do. But, like, I've never really watched, like, travel stuff before or adventure stuff before. So I don't know if I'm nice. more, I have more wanderlust <laughs> now that, uh, you know, you can't really go anywhere. Yeah, it could definitely be the case. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't think my really my, my viewing tastes have really changed that much. I've read a lot more, but. For sure. I've gone through yeah. so many audiobooks. Yeah. Uh, like, within the past year. But yeah, no. As far as uh, like viewing habits, no, I'm pretty. I've always been like a horror movie kind of guy, sci-fi, yeah. horror, documentary. Like, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say anything's really different for me, at least. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, that pretty much I think wraps up this edition. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Yeah, of course. Anytime. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And I'm Rachel Edge. Catch you next time. Hit that like button and subscribe. <laughs>